All right, so this video is a review for the test. Um, goes over all the quiz star. This is going to go over quiz star questions 1 to 10. Since calculate the pH of a 2.0 times 10 to the negative fifth solution of HOC6H5. First thing is, you know that's a weak acid. It's a weak acid since it's not a strong. You know that, so it's a weak acid. You also see the Ka value. When we have to find the pH of a weak acid, remember it's going to be x squared over molarity is going to be equal to Ka. We're given the Ka value, and we're also given the molarity. Now, there is a little bit of error in this problem. The number that the program generated was a little small for an acid. But anyway, so we drop the molarity in. You drop in 2.0 times 10 to the negative fifth, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10, and you solve for x. When you do the math, x comes out to be 5.7 times 10 to the negative 8. That's your x value. When they ask you for pH, if you take the negative log, of 5.7 times 10 to the negative 8, you get a pH of 7.25, which I know doesn't make a lot of sense for an acid, but if you got that, it means you can calculate the problem correctly. The, the issue was it generated a molarity that was way too small, but so that would be the correct answer. It was keyed wrong, so if you got A, and, but it said the answer is B, the correct answer is actually A. Next one, they ask you what is the pH of a solution of benzoic acid, which again has a Ka. HA will say uh, has a Ka value of 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. It's a weak acid. Same thing. I take my molarity, which is 0 0.055, goes on the bottom. My Ka is given to me. I drop in right there. Do a little algebra, and I solve for x. When I solve for x, I get when I solve for x, I get 0 0.0186 is my value for x. Actually, it should be two significant figures, so we'll say 0 0.019. Then what I do is I take 0 0.019, I take the log of it, boom, and I get, take the log, oops, it's actually 0 0.0019. So x comes out to be 0 0.0019 when you solve for it using algebra. Take the negative log of 0 0.0019, I get a pH or B of 2.73. Next question was, considering the titration of NH3, which is a weak base, with HNO3. The first thing I have to focus on is canceling. When I get one of these problems, the first thing I'm going to do is cancel the heartbreaker. So I come over here. HNO3 has NO3 minus, which is a heartbreaker, which leaves me H plus and NH3. Well, I know the NH3 is my base, so I put NH3 right there. H plus is what I'm titrating with, goes there. And the equation is going to equal NH4+. plus. Next thing I need to do, I know I have to do a backing table because it's a titration, is M times L, M times L for the acid and the base. Well, my base is 0.551. I change this to 0 0.300 liters. When I multiply this times that, I get 0.166 is my value for my moles of my NH3. Because remember, M times L always gets me moles. Then I take my molarity of my acid, 0.5 times 0.150. I move this over, multiply that, I get 0.075. At this point, here's my snorkel box. I realize that I am before equivalence. So my A line is less than my B line, therefore I am before equivalence. So then what do I need to do? Well, I take my 0 0.075, so I go minus 0 0.075, minus 0 0.075, plus 0 0.075. Now, after that, I'm left with 0 0.091 moles of NH3, and I have 0 0.075 moles of my NH4. So what do I need to do? Well, first I need to divide by the new volume. Coming back, I see that I took 150 milliliters and 300 milliliters and combined them together for a total of 450 milliliters. So then what I need to do is divide by 0.450, divide by 0.450. Ultimately, I get 0 0.167, 0 0.202. Those are my two values I have. What are they of? My NH3 and my NH4+, plus, which means if I'm before equivalence, I know I'm going to hassle hop. And so in this case, I'm going to say POH is equal to PKB plus the log of the base and its conjugate acid. Well, my base is 0 0.202. My conjugate acid is 0 0.167. Log, 
the pkb, if I take the negative log of 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth, is 4.74. So when I pop that in, I do my calculations, I take 0.167 divided by 0 0.202. I end up with taking the log of that, adding that to 4.74. I end up with a POH of 4.66. Not my pH yet, I'm almost there. Then what I do is I take that minus 14. So I subtract that from 14, and I get 9.34. D is the correct answer. So remember, I'm before equivalence. First step, I always do write the reaction after canceling the heartbreakers. Second step, I get the moles using M times L, M times L, moles and moles. Then I do my stoichiometry, calculate my molarity since I'm before equivalence. Notice I'm going to use Hasselhoff base style. Once I get my POH, I subtract it from 14, and I'm good to go. Definition of a bronsted lowry of an acid. We say bronsted lowry acid is something that donates a protein, a proton, to another species. So this would be considered a bronsted lowry acid in this equation. If I have HCl in water, it donates an H to produce H3O+. So the way you tell a bronsted lowry simply is a bronsted lowry acid is the fact that it's giving or donating an H. Which of the following statements is true concerning a titration of a weak base by a solution of hydrochloric acid? So we'll just use a simple, we'll use NH3 as an example, plus H plus the one we just did, the titration problem. Ultimately, you're going to get NH4 plus and water. Well, if you consider H0, if you actually sub in, it's easier to write this to see the water. If I have H3O plus, right? So what's going to happen is the acid's going to neutralize the base. You're going to get, boom, NH4 plus and water. What would be the uh, true of the titration? Well, a couple things. The equivalence point is only 7 for a strong acid, strong base. So that can't be the correct answer. Uh, at equivalence point, let's see here. B, it says at equivalence point, there's excess hydrochloric acid. That's not true because at equivalence, everything cancels. Um, this would be canceled, and then remember this side, these both cancel out. At equivalence of pH is determined by the chloride ion. That's not true. Chloride ion Cl is a heartbreaker. Correct answer is the solution is going to be acidic. Why? Whenever you're left with a positive ion, it acts, it's basically a conjugate acid. It will act to give H uh, to water. So if you flip the reaction over, that's ultimately what you're going to get in a hydrolysis equation. Next one, six. I talked about this in class. But I'll go back over this one really quickly. The correct answer is going to be D is the correct answer. Unfortunately, it was key to B. If you look, the first thing I do when I read a problem on this test tomorrow is I'm going to cancel out any heartbreakers. So if I notice I have NH4Cl, I cancel out the Cl, which leaves me with just NH4+, plus, which is a positive ion. So I write NH4+, plus is going to react with water. What is it going to do? A positive ion gives an H. So it gives an H, producing H3O+. Plus. N N H three. So when I go to calculate this, I have to calculate the H plus. I'm going to basically realize that I need a K A. Why? Because I have H three O plus, so I need a K A. Well, what do I do? Well, it's the same idea. X squared over molarity. In this case, 1.2 times 10 to the negative fifth goes down there, from right there. I just have to calculate a K. Whenever I have an ion, I'm finding the pH of an ion. I know I have to calculate K. So what do we know? Ka times Kb equals Kw. So all I do is take 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th, divided by 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5th, and then I end up with my Kb value, or I'm sorry, my Ka value of, um, my Ka value is 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10th. Then I solve for x. When I do the math of the algebra, solve for x, I get 8.2 times 10 to the negative 8th. D is the correct answer. Question 7. Strongest acid. Well, the way you determine a strongest acid is there's two strong acids here. There's HCl and HClO4. If you're comparing oxy acids, the more oxygen you have, the weaker the bond is going to be. So when you look at it, the one that's going to be the strongest acid is going to be HClO4. The reason why is the H bond, the electronegativity of the all the four oxygens in the chlorine, will really pull the electrons from the H to the rest of the, towards the rest of the molecule, weakening the bond. So if you have to compare acids, 
the more oxygens it has or the more electronegative the atoms are, um, will pro will produce the strongest acid. So in that case, you have HCl4 will be the strongest acid. Ignore HCl because what I would, the question I would ask you would be comparing oxy acids. Um, the Ka for a weak acid, if the has a pH of 3.26 uh, at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. Well, remember if we need to find Ka, it's x squared over m minus x. Remember we keep the x. So when we go to do this, there's a way that they have to tell us the x. All right, so I need an X, but they gave me pH. Remember, pH technically can be converted back into HCl plus since we're talking about a Ka. So what I do is I go 10 to the negative 3.26. That tells me that my molarity is going to be 5.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. That will be my HCl plus concentration by converting pH back into HCl plus. So then when I go to set it up, I go 5.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. I am going to square it. Then what I do is take the molarity. I'm going to pull the molarity problem down. I'm going to say 2.02 uh, minus, and then um, I'm going to keep the x, which is 5.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. Plugging that into the equation, I should be able to find Ka. So ultimately, you end up with 1.5 times 10 to the negative fifth. When you square the top, um, subtract 0 0.020 0 minus 5.5 times 10 to the negative tenth. Next one. Uh, 25 milliliter of uh, weak acid was titrated with KOH. Equivalence points was reached when 37.82 base had been added. What was the original concentration of propanoic acid. So they want to know what the original molarity is, or what the original concentration is. So what happens is you have to remember we use MAVA is equal to MBVB. Well, we know it's titrated. So for example, we take um, 1.27, the molarity of the base is 1.27 molar and um, we titrate it with um, 37, so we're going to say 0 0.03782. That's going to give me moles of base, which is also going to tell me how many moles of acid I have, because I know they're going to be equal. So I have moles of acid. Um, um, that's how I get moles of acid. So the first thing I do is, that's the idea of equivalence. The uh, moles have to cancel, so I go 1.27 or 0.127 times... 0 0.03782 gets me 0 0.0048 moles of base, which means I have 0 0.0048 moles of acid. And they tell me that um, I have that in 25 milliliters, so I would divide that by 0 0.025 liters. And the correct answer is going to be C, 1.92 goes back to the idea that when at equivalence, moles of acid is equal to moles of base. So if you know one, you have the other. And then in this case, they gave you the volume. So molarity would be moles over liters. They have the volume right there. Next one, what is the pH of a 0.2 molar solution of NH4Cl? If you look right here, I cancel the heartbreaker, which means I'm left with NH4 plus. So ultimately, I do NH4 plus plus water is going to give me what? Transfer an H. I end up getting H3O plus plus NH3 flag and double underline. Ultimately, I'm going to solve X squared over molarity is equal to Ka. Now, since I'm using an ion, I know I have to calculate K. So what I do to calculate K, I take Kw 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5th. Ultimately, I get my Ka comes out to be 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10th equals x squared over 0.20. So then at that point, I take 0.2 times 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10th, take the square root of it, I get my x value, and then I take the negative log of it, and I end up with about 5.0 with sig figs. It comes out to be on my calculator. 4.98, but sig fig wise, um, since there's only one sig fig in my molarity, there has to be one decimal place to my pH. 
But again, same thing. I know I have an ion, which means I calculate K, so it's just going to be X squared over molarity is equal to, in this case, the Ka. I get that from writing out the reaction. Same kind of thing we've been doing. So those are questions 1 to 10.